Hey, good morning everybody. It's a Thursday morning. We got a pump job today. The access to this foundation wasn't very good. It's not like a huge foundation or anything, but I think it's I think it's around 54 by 28, something like that. Uh, it's got two two full trucks coming, 21 yards, two 10 and a half yarders. So we're pumping it with Brown's concrete pumping. Got the trucks backed up to them now. And we are just getting going. So that's this was the axis right here with all the sand. We just figured it'd be easier to pump rather than try to back trucks. This the foundation kind of sticks a little bit high up out of the ground and this stuff's really soft, so there's no way we would have got a truck close. This is when it's uh, definitely worth spending the extra money for a pump. So he's just priming out. He primes out with just the concrete with water in the topper. And we're just priming out in this deep haunch because the floor figured right about 21 yards itself. And we got 21 yards exactly. And the pump takes about a yard. So that's kind of what we're dealing with here. All right, it's looking good. We're gonna go, we're gonna stop from that end, work our way back to this door. Just like we normally would. Subgrade in here was really out of level, you know, from what we're used to. We're used to having this stuff subgrade within about a half an inch, and it kind of varies a little bit, so it makes figuring concrete a little bit more difficult, but it, it's not like that bad that we can't get the floor done, obviously, as you can see. It's just, it gets really thick, you know, it kind of tapers from the outside walls towards the haunch, so it gets quite a bit thicker right around the haunch area. You know, we're trying to figure on a four inch concrete floor the average of four inches and then you know when it gets to six seven eight inches around the haunch then you're trying to you're trying to figure concrete and obviously you don't want to run out because we're quite away from the concrete plant and we don't even know if we could get a balance load if we did run out we've got to try to keep it as close to the four inch average as we can and it's just you know it's just a lot easier when the subgrade is just really done nice and flat and level Got a nice mix here today. We use a, this company will blend the stone, so they'll go 50% with a three quarter stone, 50% with three eighths. We call it a 50 50 mix. Just a, it's a really good flow mix. And that's the way we like it right there. It makes pulling it around easy. It makes screening it easy. Just a tiny bit high still, Luke. Hey, Darren, just watch that star over there, too. Is that up on the other one?
Pretty close, Luke. Pretty good there, yeah. Can you guys see who the second driver was? Oh. You gonna have them put them two bags in for us? Yeah. Thank you. If he's too old to do it, just come get me, I'll do it. Yeah. I don't mind doing it either. Oh, thank you. I'm gonna retire these, Luke. You got a hole? Yeah. Running the Tomahawk Street today. That's because that's the only street we got the board. We got 14 feet. All the other boards we got a 12. We kind of wanted to reach all the way to the middle. We're just coming down two bays today, so. No, I don't know how to do that. Looks good. You hit the button. What button? The red one. What's that? Oh, maybe I did already. Damn it. Except the green button is food. Green button. Easy peasy. It does make it nice having that 14 foot board versus the 12. What do you guys think of that tomahawk? You know, you've seen us use the Street Demon. Now you get to see us using the Tomahawk one. What's your opinion on that? Let me know. I mean, it's, it's, this one's definitely heavier than the Street Demon for sure. But the bar is 14 feet. And I believe MBW's got a 14 foot or two. Maybe I could ask to try that one. This, the head unit on this one's a little bit heavier. Battery's a little bigger. Um, handles are a little designed a little different. But as you can see, I mean, looks like Luke's having a pretty easy job doing it, so looks good. Looks like that went pretty good, Luke. Nah, you'd be alright. Nope. Looks good. I like that 14 feet. You turn it up. Seems like it's turned it up too much. Too much to... Yeah. Oh, you gotta find the line where it's. Because it would go, I mean, that's like quarter. Does it? Yeah.
Yeah, I went up and talked to him about it. Okay. Told him the driver was too old to have me do it, and then he goes, Oh, don't worry, I'll get it. Oh, okay. So. He did it last time. I just did it up. I can like a good cold brew coffee in the morning. So DeWalt, DeWalt sent me, they made me this cup. Really nice Yeti cup from DeWalt. Put my name on it. Every morning's cold brew coffee in there from Califa Farms. A little bit of uh, heavy cream. And we're good to go every morning. A couple of these. Mm. That is the best right there. Good combo. DeWalt, Yeti, cold brew coffee. We're back in the heat of it. I mean, this is the end of May. We're getting summers right around the corner. We've got all these kinds of jobs lined up, all kinds of calls every single day. People want work done. It's just back to the grind from, you know, pretty much pretty much May is a full month. April is kind of like wishy-washy on the weather up here in Maine. We could work. We have enough work to work every day in April. But usually the weather doesn't allow us to work every day, so... I'd say like like half a month of April is is busy. All of May is busy. Then June, July, August, September, October is all busy. Just more work than we can handle. And then we start getting into November, and usually November is plenty busy here in Maine. It's just the weather starts changing as far as being cold. So we got to fight the cold weather a little bit. Most of the days we can pour. I mean, it might be below freezing in the morning, but then the sun comes up and it's warms up a little bit and then with the uh, hot water and the concrete and the accelerators we use we usually can pour pretty much through the whole month of november get you get by thanksgiving a little bit into the first of december and that's when things really start getting cold here in maine so it's you know definitely a what i say a short season compared to most people we try to get 12 months worth of work in in about eight months so it's just kind of crazy here for the three of us you know joe's here he's from ohio the new guy Joe and this is his last week he's been here this is his fourth week but he's also going home Saturday he wants to start his own concrete business so he came up here to work with us he was in the concrete underground for a while a couple months and learned everything he could from that and then he just wanted to get some hands-on so he's retired Air Force 22 years and he had the time and the, the means to be able to come up here and work with us for a month that's what he's been doing so we've been teaching him Stamp concrete, you know, broom finished patios, forming, pouring and finishing floors like this, power troweling, screeding, he's, he's been doing it all and he's picking it up really good. Uh, there's really nothing right hands on, uh, getting in the mud, feeling it, you know, it just it's a whole different animal than than trying to learn from it online or trying to learn from it in a, in a weekend class somewhere. It's just nothing compares to just being here with with the pros, you know, Darren and Luke, teaching and learning from them guys every single day. About an inch low right there. When he comes back, just have him go up in there. It's like a sixteenth low. 
to get back here. Doesn't help styrofoam's moving up and down four inches. <laughs> Not bad, nope, not really. Stop for quiet, Joe. Focus, Focus, huh? Oh, pretty good. When you get down the way, your hopper will do it. Just shut him off. Yeah, Let me move that for you, Darren. Well, I can make another pad real quick, too. Hold on. I'll make a pad right here, Darren. Um, I could probably do you straight close. Pretty good there, Darren. Good morning, man. Morning, how are you doing? Good morning. Hey, bro. We miss you. I miss you, Todd. A little shout when you come out here and give you a better each day. That place will be pretty good. Yeah, we'll have you come in and we'll go up. We'll have you come over here. We'll have you come over here. I've been good. How's the family? Family's good. That's good, buddy. Fantastic. Let's see what we got here. I don't know. I don't have my glasses Those on. Oh, there's one. Sweatshirt. That's two extra, right? Yes. Oh, you thank go. you, Mike. Hey, you're welcome. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> that's awesome. So yeah, Joe, Joe's been up. He, uh, he lives in Ohio. He's yeah. retired 22 years in the Air Force. Just wants to know, figuring out what he's going to do with his life. So he wants to do concrete. That's who that is. Yeah, so I've yeah. never seen him before. No, he's been. This is fourth week. He's going home Saturday. Um, again, he he went online, tried to learn from some of the videos, and he's like, "Oh, I'm more of a hands-on guy." Calls me up. He's like, "Can I just come up for a few weeks? I'll work." Fantastic. Like, come on up. He's who been better to learn from. He's been great. Yeah. Has he been a big help? And we've done, you know, broom finish, stamp concrete, oh my word. you know, epoxy floors floors like this so he's learning he's everything learning. yeah i'm gonna miss hey, him here
should have to take that styrofoam out. That's Keep going, Luke. I'll get another handle. Good job, guys. Teamwork makes the dream work. Yeah, a little heavier, huh? Just gotta get the handle down just a little bit more. Up here, yep, I think so, yep. Alright, that looks good. I'm gonna go get another handle so I can reach. So I can reach way out there. I just need one second. For me, you want a scraper? Uh, I got a shovel. Okay, thank you. All right, so the truck's out of concrete, but between what he's got in the pump and a little bit in the chute, we'll scrape that down. I think we're just gonna make it, even if we have to, even if he has to dump on the ground over there, dump out of his hopper and we have to wheelbell it around. We're gonna have to make it work somehow. So that's what happens when the subgrade is really out of level. We're just, like I thought 21 would do it. We got 22 here. And as you can see, we're still a little short even with 22. So, if you're having, you know, if you're grading your subgrade or if you're hiring people to grade your subgrade, you got to make sure they get it good. You know, make sure they use a laser. Just do what we do when we put these floors in. I mean, we got to get the floor nice, flat, and level. Why shouldn't they be able to get the subgrade nice, flat, and level? Those, those are what our expectations are anyway when we show up. Otherwise, it's just a big gas on concrete. And if we run out, like, if we don't have enough, and just it's just a mess all the way around. <laughs> I would have screwed up again, Joe. I'll look you up on Google. Make sure I leave a nice review. <laughs> Yeah, that guy, you don't know how to figure concrete. Well, it's either a two-star or a three-star. I was going to be two and a half. But... Runs out on stamp jobs, okay, runs yeah. out on floors. Yeah. He just doesn't know what he's doing. That guy I talked to about the tiny house in Freeport yesterday. Yeah. He, he, he's like, yeah, it's so easy, the, the creek quote. He goes, I punched it in, and it comes in. Looking for concrete estimates, it comes right up, and it took me two seconds. <laughs> That's good. He's not doing it until next year, but he watches our videos and wants us doing it. Yeah. The 380 square foot slab. 
<laughs> Not too bad, no, but it is setting good. Yeah. Probably better than yesterday, tomorrow, uh, yesterday. Yeah. That makes it, it's going to be so lucky. Got it. I'm going to come in right behind you, Luke, to both float that over there. Yeah. Hope float. Hope float is coming in. I won't hit you, buddy. They, these guys would. But I'm going to hit you. I'm going to bump right into it. He called you, buddy. He called you, buddy. He's my little talk buddy in the morning. <laughs> yeah. He's like, this is my damn up, turn to be talking to me. I can't wait to get out. He's like, hey, you guys ride Derek and Lou and I'm getting Lou and we're going. I'm like, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if Mike. Yeah. He's like good. Indy 500. You guys know better. <laughs> yeah. Mike's so quiet avoided. I can't get a word in edgewise. <laughs> Other than Wait a I minute. Just my road. No, I'm going to Litchfield today, not Augusta. Damn. <laughs> Joe. I didn't lead on the, that I got lost this morning, though, did I, Joe? Just a squirt, I think. Just a squirt, please. You got the hose, I'll grab that. Yep. Oh. Yeah. Watch your eyes. Somewhere. Maybe a bit. Just pushing air. That's all he's pushing. Is that it? May have to go wheelbarrow. Wheelbarrow it out. He's got some coming down. Honey, Chris. Oh, we're just gonna make it. So, the concrete truck ran out. What was left in the pump truck's hopper and in the hose, he had just enough to squirt down into that last little piece so we could make it today. Um, that's that's what we call being a little bit lucky. Seeing this morning, I had 21 yards on the books, and then when I called him this morning, I asked if he could add another yard if he could put 22 on these trucks, which he did. Even though technically 11 yards on a truck isn't weight-wise isn't legal on our roads, he, he did it anyway. It's a good thing he did. We'd be running out waiting for a balance right now, right in the sun. It'll probably be over an hour before we get a balance here, if not more. So a little bit of luck there. Thank God, that's what we like. All right, we're gonna get that bowl floated. We're gonna go up and wash everything up, and that's gonna do it for the pour. We'll leave the guys here to power trial this, saw it, and that'll be another job done today. I didn't see all this walking in your videos, Mike. I know, yeah, you don't see this, do you? Damn it. You're conniving little bastard. <laughs>